Hi, my name is Phil, and I am a recovering science teacher. Science lessons suck. Um, I'm pretty sure most people learning science, most people teaching science don't like the idea of a lesson. Um, anything which is carefully scripted out as like, I'm going to teach you this and throw you the formula. And um, this is the reason I don't teach in a classroom anymore because it made me so angry. Um, I had to get students through exams, but the way that schools are structured doesn't allow teachers to teach. Or learning to take place kind of makes no sense right schools are and I'm going to get into so much trouble for saying this schools are babysitting institutions that's what they are they are designed to keep you busy while parents are at work you do not need six hours a day to learn what you need to learn you can learn it in a much quicker fashion from anyone you like and the biggest learning tool in the entire world is YouTube so that's why I'm here um, I do have a little bit of experience in this. Um, I reached 100,000 subscribers with Mindset. That's slightly more conventional. We get you through the exam, but this channel is slightly different. We are going to be doing videos in three parts. Uh, we are going to have a new video for you once every two weeks. The idea is that we get to do science, which you kind of have to do in a way that you want to do. Part one will be the exciting stuff, the videos that you can share and use in class. So I want you to take these videos and take them to your science teacher or as a science teacher, if you're watching this, um, I want you to grab it, use it as you will. And I will provide the data gathered from that video. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a part two where we take apart the analysis and we're going to pick apart the video and I'm going to show you how we can use uh, video or cell phones to do some really exciting measurements because I got really sick of testing out of a textbook. Textbooks have got data and they've got these graphs and there's no information as to how this happened. The closest thing that you come to in a science laboratory is maybe you've got an inventive teacher and maybe you get to have equipment, maybe you use like a ticker timer or a pendulum and a stopwatch. That is it. Now, that's pretty dumb because, well, I, I know why teachers do it because we've got very little time and we've got very little budget to be able to do it. Now, what the idea is behind these videos is that I'm going to give the data to you and I'm going to show you how to gather it in a way that's quick and hopefully cheap. Um, and if you can't, use part one, use that video. So please uh, like and share this with any science teachers or science learners that you've got. Um, We're going to be releasing a video at least once every two weeks, probably on a Monday because people want to use it in the classroom. But there is a second part to this channel as well, is on Tuesday evenings at 8 p.m. We are going to be doing a live stream. And this is a little bit more open format, but we're going to start off with a section that's called Phil Ruins Everything, because I do. I take uh, a news story that's kind of ridiculous, preposterous, uh, and we pick it apart. I destroy it using science. So that's kind of fun. It's kind of a little bit like Naked Scientist, but a little bit more personable. I'm going to be interacting with you guys in the chat and that's going to be super fun. So please subscribe and put on the little bell notification so I can remind uh, you when that live stream is starting. You can ask me homework questions, but I'm always going to give you a slightly left of center explanation. So uh, the guys that interact with that, I'm going to be doing some giveaways. I 3D print a lot of stuff and that's really fun. I will be posting to the people that interact the most uh, the equipment because I've got a tiny, tiny little apartment uh, because I am still a teacher and um, I can't keep all the stuff I make. So if you like the equipment that we're using, so I like 3D print little ramps for doing interesting things. Um, you know, there's a bunch of equipment lying around my desk that I just don't have the space for. So like I've got this ramp and I've got like catapults, I've got Tesla coils, I've got just too much stuff and uh, I would rather give it away than get a divorce. <laughs> 